using a few online tools today. Um, and if you've got uh, a group of students, perhaps more than uh, 20 of you, if you could get your perhaps groups to um, work in groups of threes or fours when we do the little online tasks, it just helps with the um, the functionality of the uh, online software and, and everything runs smooth, a lot smoother that way. Um, like uh, Graham said, if you've got any questions, please pop them in the taskbar down the bottom and I'll, uh, I'll try to uh, answer them the best I can as we go along. We'll get cracking then. There's a lot of information to get through and um, I'm, I'm going to leave you um, plenty of thinking time and, uh, and answering time. So there's lots of different questions and tasks uh, that I'll be giving you tonight um, to prepare, best prepare you for your exam. Where you can see the, uh, the QR codes again. Um, you can use this after the session as well, but that will, uh, when scanned, take you to a little online tutorial and video that you can use to further um, further revise and, and prepare for your tests. We're going to get cracking then. Uh, the first topic we're going to look at tonight is influencers. So what different influencers might affect your choice or participation in physical activity? I'm going to give you uh, 45 seconds, off you go. What different things could affect your choice or participation in physical activity? What different influences? Six different ones, and a little acronym to help remember them I use is uh, CHIPS R Five seconds, four, three, two, one. Different answers then, so we've got cultural factors that um, can affect our participation, health and well-being image, people, socio-economic and resources and we're going to look at them a little bit more detail now. So looking at um, cultural health and well-being and, and image I want you to think of the specific factors now within those different topics that can affect our participation. So for example um, when we're looking at culture or um, the different factors that could affect our participation within it. I'm going to give you 30 seconds to have a think about each different one of those. Example with cultural, we've got obviously race and religion. Um, that's a little starting point that I'll give you guys there. See if you can work out some different ones for health and well-being and image. So it's not only important when it comes to your exam that you understand the different factors but the reasons behind them and, and the influences within those different subheadings is what's important. If you want to discuss that um, with who you sat next to and things feel free to do that. Um, best learning comes when we will, when we're learning collaboratively, working off each other. So share your different ideas, help each other out as you go. So we'll run through them now. So under culture, we've got culture. We've got things like age, gender, religion, and disability. Um, obviously, age affects us. Um, it affects the body, and it's going to limit the different activities that we can do. Um, the older we are, perhaps the less um, athletic and uh, and the less um, able our bodies are to get involved with physical activity. Um, gender, so males and females are both encouraged to take part in sport. Uh, generally, both sexes can compete against um, the same gender to ensure fairness. Um, however, there's uh, ex uh, exceptions to this, things like uh, mixed doubles in badminton and, and tennis. Uh, a slight exceptions disability that's going to influence whether we can take part in certain things um, disability facilities around the country are improving um, and, and the media is helping us to change people's attitudes towards that but disability is, is going to have a, a significant effect on whether you can take part in physical activity um, health and well-being then um, down to injury and illness 
being ill or having long term health problems uh, is going to significantly affect what sort of activities you can do. If you've got a chest infection or you find it hard to breathe, you, you're not going to be able to run as well. So again, it's an influence on your participation. Um, image, so media and fashion. Uh, sport is always on television, so the ones that we tend to see a lot of um, are the ones that tend to influence us more. I know um, when Wimbledon comes around and that's on the television all the time, everyone's normally reaching for the tennis rackets and wanting to go out. Therefore, um, the media is having an influence on our participation in that way. I'll give you uh, 60 seconds now to chat about um, people, socio-economic and resources. What specific factors can influence participation with them? Off you go. So what type of people can influence us and, and how can they influence influences? Socioeconomic. Think about status of certain people, finances. Um, we'll have a look at them then. So people, we've got uh, friends, family and role models. For example, your friends, they're going to be a significant influence on what sort of sports you might take up. Um, peer pressure can lead you to take on um, specific activities and it's easier perhaps to go to a club with some of your friends rather than on your own and you're more likely to do what your uh, friends and things do. So people are a very big influence on what you do. Your family, if parents or family members have um, taken part in a specific sport before, it's very likely that they can have an influence on you um, choosing to follow in their footsteps. And again, role models, if um, you have a specific role model, for example, um, a lot of people look up to David Beckham as a, as a role model and, and get involved in football because they're a fan of his, so that is how people um, and the specific examples within it can influence your participation. Socioeconomic then, so we've got things like money. Um, money is going to be a massive influence on whether you can do things. Some sports um, to take part in, you need expensive equipment. Um, you might have to pay expensive membership fees. If you want to be a member of a golf club, it's often um, expensive to pay um, your golf membership for the year so that can have an impact on whether you can play or not down to whether you can afford it. Um, social status so normally um, the amount of money well the, the type of background and, and working class backgrounds if, if that's where some people come from is going to have an effect on um, the type of sports that you play normally the upper class um, types of people find themselves doing things like um, rowing and shooting and, and things like that as they're more their different activities accustomed to their sort of lifestyle and the way that they've been brought up socially. Um, resources, um, availability, access, location and time. Availability of different resources is going to have a massive influence and effect on whether you can take part in sport. Provision of outdoor and indoor facilities depends on many factors. Um, for example, it's hard for us here in Britain to go skiing and, and uh, because simply we haven't got access to, to the mountains with the snow. So um, the availability of um, mountainous um, skiing facilities is, is a massive influence on whether we can take part or not. And another task, I'm going to give you two minutes now, um, you should have printed out, um, your school should have printed out for you the worksheets and you're going to give you two minutes just to fill in the bar, fill in the blanks of the different factors that influence, remember, our performance under each different heading. So you've got cultural, health and well-being, people, image, socio-economic and resources. Two minutes, off you go.
Give you another minute.